Kyle Roberts is loving life here in Germany. He's been at Schalke for about a month or so and he's already made his Bundesliga debut, scored his very first goal in the competition and he's also played in big games like that one against Bayern Munich at the Weltins Arena. And not just that, it's crazy how he's established himself as basically a starter at this young age playing for a big club like Schalke. I guess the decision to make the move to Schalke definitely seems like the right one now. Even the media can't stop talking about Kyle Roberts. The English media, the German media, He's one of the first names on their newspapers. One club that's definitely not happy with the situation is Chelsea. They let Kyle Roberts go to Schalke for just seven and a half million. But in an interesting turn of events, it's just been revealed that there was a buyback clause that Chelsea had inserted. So for 15 million, Kyle Roberts can be bought back by Chelsea. And out of nowhere, Kyle gets a message from Frank Lampard. Frank's basically saying that he wants to bring Kyle back to Chelsea and Chelsea are willing to activate the buyback clause and bring him to Chelsea in the January transfer window. But with everything that happened between Roberts and Chelsea, he's not really interested in going back there. He's enjoying life in Germany. He's enjoying playing for Schalke. And even though there is a buyback clause, Kyle still needs to get into an agreement with Chelsea. And if he does not agree with them, he isn't going to move to Chelsea. So the kid has decided to remain loyal to Schalke. He's going to stay at the Bundesliga for the foreseeable future. As tempting as it was to go back to the Premier League, Kyle feels the time isn't right. So, Roberts' journey in the Bundesliga continues. So guys, we're back again with another episode of the My Player Career Mode series. This is episode number three. Before we get into the swing of things, I wanted your opinion on this. You guys would have seen the intro about Roberts potentially going back to Chelsea. And of course, in this series, we're going to deny the offer from Chelsea. We're not going back there. But what would you do in this situation? If a club like Chelsea had wronged you, would you still be willing to go back to them? Even though you know they wronged you and they just sold you off. And now that you're better, they want you back. I don't know, man. I would love to know your opinions on this in the comments section. What would you do if you were Kyle in this situation? Anyways, today's episode, we're going to fly through more games in the Bundesliga. We'll try and make as much progress as possible. Right now, we're 11th in the league, but we have played one game less than most teams. So we're going to try and make a push towards the top five, top six, and we'll see how things go. Last episode was huge for us as we had Kyle score his very first goal in the Bundesliga, as well as help the team against Bayern Munich to get a famous result there at the Weltins Arena. That was one hell of a moment. We're going to get through a lot of games in this episode, so if you guys are excited for this one, make sure to show your support by dropping a like on the video. If you guys want the next episode out tomorrow, let's smash out 3,000 likes and I'll get it to you guys tomorrow. If you are new around here, subscribe as well for more FIFA 20 My Player Career Mode content. Quick look at our player objectives. Looking forward to completing some of these objectives. Objectives. We're gonna have to wait though. It's gonna take us some time But remember every time we complete an objective we get to boost some of our stats or of course the weak foot rating So these are pretty darn important So looking forward to getting more assist goals from outside the box would be amazing as well as scoring with the weak foot Of course, that's gonna be incredibly difficult because right now Kyle does have a one-star weak foot and of course the English Messi challenge would love to you know make some progress with that so let's keep pushing. I think I've definitely got accustomed to how gameplay works in a player career mode so it's time we bump up the difficulty to legendary so let's give this a go. First game of the day is against Paderborn as we do actually get the start in this one starting in that camp position of course in behind Petkovic and Bergstaller. Let's go out there and get the job done. McKenney now looks for Petkovic as he plays this one in behind for Kyle. He heads this one down. Could be a chance for a simple assist. It is. Petkovic goes for goal as Kyle picks up another assist and celebrates with Petkovic. Schalke have taken the lead against Paderborn. It was the correct decision to make there for Kyle because he didn't really have a shooting angle and we know how one-footed he is. So he decided to lay it off to his teammate Petkovic who scores with a lovely finish outside of his right boot. The swirl on that was lovely as well. Beats the keeper and well, 1-0 Schalke. Chance for Paderborn. They definitely want to try and respond as soon as possible since they've conceded a pretty early goal. It's Zolinski down the wings. Looks for the crossing option. Nubel does really well as McKenney helps clear the ball away. And now Kyle controls it brilliantly. Chance for another counter-attack. He could be sending Kyle through. He does. And here goes Kyle Roberts. A brilliant counter-attacking opportunity for us. 1v1. And no, Kyle Roberts' his shot has been saved. It's still 1-0 to Schalke, but that should have been 2-0. Kyle needs to work on his finishing. Looks back for Kyle. He controls it brilliantly. Looks for another cutback, but this one gets cleared away. So far, Roberts is having a really good game. You know, linking up his teammates, 
creating chances. He probably should have scored as well, but oh well. There's the scoop turn. There's the scoop turn. Now the drag back, bringing it inside. This is looking nice. Cut back to Mascarell, who goes for goal. That's Kyle's second assist of the game of Schalke. Make it 2-0. He's proving himself as an assist king here in Germany. 2-0 up against Paderborn. We should be able to take all three points home from this game as Mascarell with a brilliant finish to put us 2-0 up. Look at that drag back there and the dribbling. The pass was superb and the finish even better. Zahavi looks to play this one in behind for Kylan. Here he goes forward as he tries to get on the score sheet maybe now in this one. He's on his weaker right foot though, so he brings it inside, releases this one for Zahavi, who should be able to score. It's a hat-trick of assists for Kyle Roberts. Unbelievable, that's the first time in his career he's managed to bag three assists in a single game. It'll definitely be a moment to remember. Zahavi picking up the goal. Remember last episode, Schalke made the signing of Zahavi, and well, he's on the score sheet already. 3-0 up against Paderborn. It's a big win for us in the Bundesliga. A big game for Kyle as well to get his first game where he's managed to bag a hat-trick of assists. And there you go. That's that. Paderborn didn't really pose much of a challenge. We got through them pretty easily. It was easy to create chances as well and they barely created any. So a good performance from Schalke. A 9.1 match rating in this game. Kyle had an outrageously good individual performance. He was superb. Key dribbles, assists, key passes. Everything was on point. When you bag a hat-trick of assists in the Bundesliga... Of course, you're going to find yourself in the team of the week as Kyle Roberts, for the second time this season, gets himself another inform card. Looks like the boss has decided to rest me for this one against Mainz in the Bundesliga. We do pick up a 2-0 win, so that is perfect. RB Leipzig up next, so we've got to be ready. So these are the objectives the club has given us to complete. And look at that. We've already completed one of these objectives. The goals created one, which was to create five goals. We've already done it so far. That's crazy. I think we should be able to complete like all objectives. No problem at all. RB Leipzig are pretty high up in the Bundesliga right now. So getting a win here against them away, first of all, is not going to be easy. But if we do so... We'll probably be in a very good spot for top three maybe right now. So this is a big game. Looks like the coach has gone for a full strength Schalke team for this one. That's why Zahavi is starting. He's one of our highest rated players. Mascarell, the captain. We've got Nastasic, McKenny, Harith, Kyle Roberts, of course, in that cam role. Let's get the job done against Leipzig. A 5-3-2 formation. This is going to be interesting to try and break down. They've got a lot of youngsters as well. Upamecano, Mukiel, Ampadu, and Kunku, Sabitza, Timo Werner up top as well. That's a good side. This is going to be a difficult game and a big test for Kyle. Could be a chance if uh, RB Leipzig. Martinez takes the shot. Kenny with the interception. Nubel gets the ball. So far, this game has been a struggle. We've barely even had the ball. Petkovic releases this one for Kyle Roberts. Big chance for him. He goes for goal, but uh, that was just a terrible attempt. I've got to say... This is probably the worst half Kyle Roberts has ever had in his career. His shots have been poor, his passing has been abysmal. He's not really enjoying playing here away at the Red Bull Arena. Chance for Leipzig, here's Sabitzer on the ball, looks for Nkunku with a few step overs, but that's good defending and the ball has been released to Kyle Roberts. Can he create something from this attack? Finds his teammate, now Zahavi, Mascarell, Petkovic. It's good passing play, finally we're able to do something in this one. Still, Kyle Roberts holds up the play really well, but gets tackled. That kind of sums up Roberts' game. He's really struggling to have any sort of impact in this one. Joseph Martinez on the ball, goes for goal with a finesse shot. And ooh, that was pretty close. Probably one of the first attacks of the game. That's how awful this fixture has been. Cross comes in, it's a good pass to Lema who goes for goal. What a volley from him, but Nubel makes a good save there to deny RB Leipzig from taking home the win. Nil, nil against RB Leipzig. Probably our worst game so far in this series. We really didn't have any sort of an impact on the game. And also got to give RB Leipzig a bit of credit. Their 5-3-2 formation was just so defensive. We just couldn't break through it. This was definitely one to forget. A 5.8 match rating, man. It doesn't get any worse than this. 11 times out of position. That's something we've got to work towards. After that abysmal showing against RB Leipzig, not gonna lie, I'm not surprised the coach hasn't started me in this one against Köln. We do get ourselves a two-all draw, so it ain't that bad. Anyways, Hoffenheim up next away. Hopefully the coach will put back his faith in me and start me in this one. A lot of Kyle's teammates are on international duty right now. Busy with, of course, their country 
playing with their countrymen of course taking part in the friendlies or some of the qualifiers and all while Kyle is here training of course he does dream of playing for England one day but right now all he can do is focus on his training and just you know wait for that moment. So we're 8th in the Bundesliga right now we've got to definitely improve upon that our next game is against Hoffenheim away which is going to be a difficult game to play because look at Hoffenheim they're actually above us in the league if we do beat them we go above them so there's a lot of incentive here. Borussia Dortmund though they're flying in the Bundesliga right now 7 games played 7 wins that's crazy. It's good to know we're back in the lineup for this one starting in that cam roll. So how he starts up top, Mascarel, Nastasic. I'm ready for this one. Let's put in a good performance here. We got to put that game against RB Leipzig behind us. I'm trying to do some defensive work here. Sliding challenge goes in. Oh, I've committed a foul and the cross comes in and wow, wow, wow. Hoffenheim have taken the lead and have made it 1-0. No point in going with the sliding challenge there. We couldn't even block the cross and well... Hoffenheim have taken the lead early on in the game as well. This is going to be a challenge. Oh my god. Also, I think Kyle is going to get a booking for that challenge. We've got to be careful now. Under 5 minutes, we've picked up a yellow card. And also, look at our match rating. It's 4.4 right now. That's crazy. Chance for Schalke as another cross comes in. It's a brilliant ball played in the post. Saves us, but no. The rebound falls to Daba, who scored his second of the game. Hoffenheim now lead 2-0. We've been completely opened up from all ends. The crosses are causing us so many problems and there's simply no way we can defend them. This is not good. We might end up losing this game. Probably the worst situation for us, especially considering our next game is against Borussia Dortmund. We've got to fight back. We've absolutely got to fight back. We need something out of this game. Here goes Kai. Looks to bring the ball inwards. This is nice. He could maybe find a pass to his teammate. Petkovic on the ball. Goes for goal from a difficult angle. But the Hoffenheim keeper makes a very good save. Not good at all as it's a big chance for Hoffenheim to score. Again, that is an outrageous save from our goalkeeper. Unbelievable. Hoffenheim would have definitely made it 3-0 if not for our keeper there. And that would have been the game over. So this Nubel guy is keeping us in the game. Goes inside for Zahavi. Back to Kyle Roberts. This is nice. Good pass into Petkovic. Has to be a goal. No way. How has the keeper saved that? That was our chance to get a goal back in this one. Unbelievable goalkeeping there from the Hoffenheim keeper. He's made two outrageous saves so far in this game. This one was just unbelievable. Looks for his teammate Zahavi. Good play. This could be the chance Kyle's been waiting for. On that left foot now. Curls it in. Oh, come on. The keeper makes a simple save there. Shooting-wise, there's so much for us to improve in this series because our finishing is just crap. Full time and it's another defeat for Schalke in the Bundesliga. It's not been a great start of the season. But apart from that, it's also another terrible performance from Kyle Roberts. After getting a hat-trick of assists in the first game, what's happened since then? Disappointing against RB Leipzig. Terrible now against Hoffenheim. Things have got to change. Kyle needs to, you know, take a look back in the mirror and he definitely needs to improve. A worse match rating than the previous game, 5.7. I mean, this is getting out of hand. Would you now believe it? It seems like the media has turned against Kyle Roberts. A couple of bad performances and now they're calling him overrated. A few weeks ago, they were calling him the next big thing, the next Messi. And now, well, they're just calling him overrated. So that just goes to show how fickle sports media actually is. Anyways, hopefully Kyle won't take all this sort of stuff to heart. He's just got to keep his head down and perform. The only thing we're worried about right now is whether Kyle is going to get the start against Dortmund in the Revier derby, one of the biggest games in the Bundesliga this season. And of course, he wants to start the game. But with abysmal performances in the last two games, I think it's totally understandable if the coach decides to bench him. The logical thing to do next is to drop the boss a text and ask him about the situation, whether he's going to start against Dortmund or not. Of course, Roberts does acknowledge the fact that he was terrible in these last two games but he asks the coach to show some faith in him because when he's on form Kyle Roberts is unstoppable you all saw that when he got a hat-trick of assists in the Bundesliga so he's asking the coach to show a bit of faith in him well David Wagner replies saying that he hasn't decided the lineup but he will let him know as soon as he can so I guess we're gonna have to wait to see his decision we're ending off the episode being ninth in the Bundesliga next episode we've got to fix up we've got to be better on the pitch player growth wise in this episode a few of our stats did go up like of course pace passing dribbling but not really that much growth we're still 7 rated which to be fair at this age is perfectly good but that's that for today's episode of the my player career mode series definitely an eventful episode we started off with the chelsea drama 
Ted, of course, a hat trick of assists in the Bundesliga, disappointing performances after. And now we don't know if Kyle is going to start against Dortmund or not. So, you guys are going to find that out in the next episode. It's been a fun one to record. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the My Player Career Mode series so far. If you guys are, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here. And, well, I'll catch you all next time.